Okay, I'm about to start work on a painting uh, that is uh, has been ongoing for a long time and it needs to be finished. Um, I've just never quite got around to borrowing one of these before. Ta-da! It's an overhead projector, as I'm sure you're familiar with. But basically, I've got a big blank canvas here. It's um, gloss paint, so it's a very sort of sheeny surface. Um, and I need to get... Uh, the, the, the thing's got sort of detail on it, but basically I laid some gloss paint on it ages ago. And it all kind of wrinkled up, and I was most displeased at that. But then I realised that actually it was kind of a feature and it would work with what I want to do. Um, so uh, what I want to do is, I've got uh, my image here on the overhead projector. I've taped it down with some masking tape so it doesn't move or get kicked or flow in the breeze or whatever it is. So um, if I switch it on, blimey Charlie, then it's projected up here, which you can sort, yeah, you can see that quite clearly actually. So now what I do is I just get some paint, uh, paintbrush, and just paint it on, you know, like that. Um, and that's fairly normal, that's kind of the dumb thing. It seems like a bit of a cheat, I know, but it's, um, actually you do have to make a lot of decisions still about where it goes, why it goes where, and what kind of, what level of detail you're going to put on it and how much detail, what type of detail. So, um, like Roy Lichtenstein and all people like that use, use this method. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to get cracking with that. And we'll see how it turns out. Oh gosh, right, okay. I've done the first preliminary, I can't even speak, preliminary bit. Um, and what I've discovered is we've got quite far with it, let me show you okay, overhead projector and there's the image and it's coming up quite well if I turn it off you get a much better sense of what's going on and I haven't done all of it yet but I've got the detail on the hair um, which is kind of what was the most important thing for me to get down because um, that's the hardest thing to cope with um, so one of, the, one of the things that I didn't appreciate was how difficult it would be to do it on a dark background because um, it's much much me easier if you're kind of doing it on a mid-tone background because you're not sort of or even a white background because the um, the black tends to absorb all the light and it's you know it's quite hard to distinguish between a darkened colour and a, and a lightened colour. If I put it back on, you probably won't be able to see it, but if I... Let me just try this. Yeah, you can't really see an awful lot of detail there. I mean, I can just about make it out here, but I mean, you know, over, over the camera phone here, it's nothing, you've got nothing. So, yeah, but I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased with how it looks, and um, I think she's going to turn out well. Uh, let me just get back from it so we can see the full Monty. Yes. I think I'm going to give her a gold leaf halo as well. It's got to be done. Um, gold leafing is fun. Ha! Pure comedy genius. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with how that's turned out. I think it's going to be a good painting. Okay, um, moving on, I seem to have uh, managed to fill this in a bit better. Um, it's kind of looking more like what I want it to look like. In fact, with the sort of shimmering lights on it, where it's picking out all the ripples in the paintwork, it gives you a much better idea of what's going on, which is nice. Yeah, it looks great, actually. So... Um, yeah, I think that's getting there. I think I've kind of got some of the definition in it okay, and that's looking a bit more how I want it to look. Um, yeah, the tricky bit is going to be doing the face, because um, if I get that wrong, it can really sort of screw it up, because um, I want it to look sort of fairly beautiful. Um, but we'll see how it goes.
getting there, getting there. And I've got to do, I'm going to do a gold leaf halo on that one as well, as well I think. Ooh, exciting.